Welcome to the Theorlink navigation video. This is the screen you will see when you first open the application, assuming you are already signed in. This is your map. The yellow dot is your watch user, and the blue dot is your phone. The circle is the radius of your safe zone. To find the person or refresh the map, press the bottom arrow icon on the bottom right side of the screen. If you tap the globe looking icon, it will give you satellite imagery. And lastly, the top pointer icon is to update your location. To expand the menu, click the three lines in the upper left hand corner. This shows my care team. Your device or multiple devices are listed below. Click on a device to see that devices dashboard. The far left red icon is your quick connect. Tap the icon once. It will blink and it will have the watch call you without the user touching any buttons. This feature only works for the primary caregiver. You will receive the call just like any other call and answer to connect to your loved one. Once you hang up, the red icon will probably stay blinking. If that's the case, tap it again so that it stops. The blue phone icon calls the watch directly without the hands-free answering feature. Your loved one will have to answer the call on their wearable for it to go through. The yellow profile icon is where you edit everything about your loved one who is wearing the watch. Their name, birthday, gender, and you can even edit their photo. Just tap the plus sign and select where you want to pull or take the image from. The far right gear icon is the settings. Make sure it is enabled. 15 minutes is the default, but if you'd like to change the frequency of updating your map, you can change it here. With four different options, you can pick what works best for you. Leave the daytime only off because it will only track from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Turbo mode is for when you are trying to find your loved one and when it's turned on, will track and update your map every three minutes for 15 minutes while you're trying to find your loved one. Mute ringer is always on. Turn device off will only be used if on the phone with support. Remove device from map is only used if you are discontinuing your watch or if you're exchanging a watch. If you change any settings, make sure to press save before going back. Contacts will be all the contacts added to the device. The primary will be at the top and all of the guest users will be below. There isn't a limit to the number of contacts you can add as guest users. They will just need to download the app and create their own accounts to be added. Safe zones. This is a way to see how many safe zones you have. And the top right plus sign is where you can add safe zones to the list. There isn't a limit to the number of safe zones you can have. Notifications shows the history of all the banner alerts you may have missed. Know that any guest users you may have can see these notifications as well. History shows all the dots of where your loved one has been. You can use the calendar icon on the bottom right corner of the screen to look up specific dates to see where they were. And lastly, there's the call history. This is a history of all the calls. This is the battery life of the watch, so you can see it even if you aren't with the watch. And also, there's the phone number of the watch. If you'd like to add a device, go back to the menu and tap Add a Device if you want to add another watch or if you get a replacement watch. Below are shortcuts to the map, which takes you to the map. The contacts take you straight to your contacts, where you can see the current contacts or add new ones. Safe zones take you to your current safe zones, again, where you can also add new ones if needed. Then below is my account, which isn't connected at the moment, and support if you are in need of help. Then log out. Note that to receive notifications, you must be logged into your app. If things aren't refreshing or working, try logging out and back on.